Welcome back to a new video. Today we're looking at r slash Tinder. What should I respond with? You matched with Emma. Why do you have the picture of your arm in your profile? Is it because of your veins? You think veins are a hot stereotype? You think girls like veins? Does it feel good to add to a stereotype that applies pressures to those who can't suffice it? I do not see how blood vessels that bring blood back to the heart are attractive. Is anatomy funny to you? Is this some kind of sick joke? Not funny. You should take it down. It's discomforting and weird and disrespectful. Guys, is it disrespectful to have veins? What's the guy supposed to do? <laughs> he needs those veins to supply blood to his body so he doesn't die. Why is she so triggered about it? And how is she saying anatomy is not funny? Is anatomy funny to you? Anatomy is funny to everybody. Butt jokes, fart jokes, dick jokes. They're like the cornerstones. They form like the foundation of humor, especially middle school humor. But wait, her profile pic, that's her crotch, right? Belly button, leg, leg, that's her underwear. Why the profile picture of your crotch? You think crotches are hot? You think crotches are funny? Oh, I know why she's so triggered by the veins. It's because she's afraid that you're a vein person. That was a stupid fucking dad joke, man. Ah, the irony. You've matched with Kiki. Hey girl, you a generator? Cause you Kiki started my heart. Good one. Better, Dan. Kiki, do you love me? Too early to ask that. I'd rather take you out for drinks first. I actually just swiped to ask you, please do not start a podcast. We have enough cis, straight, white men voicing their opinions on the internet. Thanks very much. Too late. Things are in motion. But I'm glad you wanted to voice your opinion without any info on what it's about. As a cis, straight, white dude who has a podcast, this makes me sad. This woman honestly is like literally the exact thing that she's railing against. She offered her opinion completely unasked for and tried to suppress a group, telling someone else that they should stop offering their opinions unasked for so they don't suppress groups. And how's your day going? Hey, Blink, what's something that made you smile today? I had passionate intercourse this morning that made me smile lots. Would you like to clean it up? Who <laughs> the F starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. Well, we know that she's lying, obviously, because having intercourse with a woman doesn't make her smile. Just ask any woman I've ever been with. Wait. So I asked my friend Bobby why he's in DC. He's from Orlando. Ladies in DC, please invite this poor guy out for a drink. So I live in Orlando. I met a girl on Tinder and we chatted for a bit, but never met up. On Sunday, she says, Hey, any chance you want to go to DC for the week? I have a work thing and I want a travel buddy. Seemed insane to me, but I work remote and it sounded like a fun adventure. So I fly in yesterday after work and we hang out at the hotel bar and have a great time. She wakes me up this morning and goes, I had a great time last night and I really like you, but my ex texted me last night and I realized I'm not over him. She then tells me that she's cutting her work trip short and going back to Orlando. Well, my flight isn't until Friday and there isn't an earlier one that works for me, so I'm stuck in the hotel room that her company paid for in a city that I know no one until Friday. I envisioned a lot of outcomes that made this trip an insane idea, but I didn't come up with the ex-boyfriend angle, lol. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. At least I got a story out of it. Bro, you got flown out to a city where the hotel room is paid for, you got to smash, then she left after exposing to you that she's a nutso with baggage. This is like win, 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 win across the board, dude. Win, win, win. I consider this an absolute win. Am I doing something wrong, LMAO? What brings you to Nashville? Life. Do you like it here? Yeah. What'd you go to school for? Psychology. What's something fun I can do while I'm here? I got here yesterday. Oh, okay. I don't know. Google? Christ. I'm not your tour guide, the fuck? Yeah, and this guy's not your Tinder guide. There are literal NPCs in video games that have more personality than this girl. <laughs> she, she would fail the Turing test for sure. That's pretty good, actually. He almost lost his cool for a second. You're mad pretty. It's cool. I could have hit it anyways. I do hope you get violated or die in a car accident, and I hope whoever does it chops you up and mails you back to your parents in pieces, you worthless piece of garbage. You're lucky we didn't chill. I would have skinned you alive and threw you in a lake. 
When this guy says, I want to smash, what he really means is smash her with a hammer until she creates a meat paste in his garage that he can scoop into a trash bag and bury in his backyard somewhere. When this guy says, baby, I'm going to split you in half, he means with an axe. When this, <laughs> when this guy says, babe, I'm going to impale you, he means with a knife. When this guy says, I'm going to pound you senseless, he means with a baseball bat. This guy's nuts. Pro tip, there's a fine line between setting boundaries and sending this as your first message. Hello there, I'd like to place an order for takeout. You and a nice lunch somewhere mutual in a casual setting, please. I'm gonna be super blunt and honest here and throw all my shit out there. I won't be upset if you run the other way. I am not into playing around. I'll be 29 this year. I don't have time for childish games. I need a man who will love me no matter what. I need someone who will tell me how they're feeling and let me express the same feelings without getting pissed off at me for feeling some type of way. I need a man who will be a father figure to my children, in due time, obviously. Someone they can look up to in life, show them how to treat a woman. I want someone who will kiss me, hug me, and love me without having to ask for it. I'm over wasting my time on effing around. I don't want that. I want to find my person. You know, the sad thing is, pretty much everything she's asking for in this post is pretty pretty reasonable. She's just looking for a decent man to be her partner, who's just sort of like doing the basic stuff you'd expect in a relationship. But the way that she's asking for it is so crazy. How can that be your first sentence to someone? This long ass to-do list. It's like, uh, yeah, never mind. I think I'm just gonna cancel that takeout order. I'll just go get a burger or something. Don't worry about it. Dumbass catfisher forgot to delete all photos of himself after being verified. Sakrina. 28, lives in Greece. <laughs> the funny thing about this is he's got bigger succulent lips than she does. If you're gonna do a catfish profile, at least don't make your profile pic a super easily recognizable adult actress. I've never seen this woman before in my life, but some people might recognize her as Violet Myers. I mean, not me, I've, I've never seen this woman before. I have, I have no idea who she is. Interesting choice for a main pic. Oh no! <laughs> this is actually really funny. Performance manager? What kind of performance are we talking about? As in, come sit on this leather couch while you perform for the camera? Like that kind of performance? I love the confident pose. She knows what joke she's making and she is funny. That's a good joke. Does anyone fit into this girl's insane bio requirements? Jade, 26. About me. Honestly, trying to find a stepdad for my dog. She's the cuter one out of the two of us. Absolutely no hookups. I only date white firefighter EMTs only, no exceptions. Trump 2024 must be over 5 foot 10. If you're wearing a mask in your picture, I'm gonna laugh at you and swipe left. No libtards. If you do drugs, including the pot or whatever it's called, swipe left, I hate druggies. The pot, if you do the pot. Hello, drug person. I would like to smoke one weed, please. The fact that she's only willing to date white Trump supporter, firefighter plus EMTs who are over five foot 10 makes me think she literally wants to date her ex-boyfriend and she isn't over him. This post is just like a sea of red flags. I think I matched with an AI. I'm bisexual, is that okay? Yes. I still love women. Totally get that. I mean, I love blokes, so I can't blame anyone else for feeling that same way. You are who you are, and I'd like to get to know that person because you sound pretty great. Yes, I'm bisexual, but I love women. You sound great too. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. I'm looking forward to meeting you up for a chat in person. You sound really interesting. Does any particular time tomorrow afternoon work better for you? Okay, <laughs> I'm bisexual. I'm looking forward to you. Well, if you'd like to meet tomorrow, I can do any time after 3 p.m. and blank. Okay, cool. I'm bisexual, hun. <laughs> That's the third time you've told me and I'm fine with it. Is it the third? It feels like the 10th. One, two, three, four. No, it's the fourth. Yo, I'm starting to get a feeling that this guy's bisexual. Just a hunch. Foot or back massages or both? Back massages, you? Back and shoulder. Are your feet ticklish? Do you have a foot fetish, lol? I'm sure a foot massage would be lovely also. I don't know, I guess. I just really like to give foot massages and massages in general. I used to take masseuse lessons, so if you're ever in need of a massage, then I'm your guy, lol. 
Oh my god, that's pretty great news, honestly. Yeah, I don't like toe sucking or any of that weird stuff, but I do appreciate a well taken care of foot though, lol. Do you get pedicures or moisturized? Since you're 5 foot 10, do you have big feet? <laughs> How many feet pictures have you purchased? This guy's motivated. I don't think he's about to be defeated. He'll probably be like, well, that depends. How many feet pictures are you about to sell me? He won't like just own up to it. You know what I mean? He's kind of dancing around. Look, I, I guess maybe I have a foot fetish. I mean, I just like massaging feet. What's the big deal? What color are your feet? Are they big? Are they hairy? Describe your toes. Do you paint your toenails? Can I smell your feet? What do your feet smell like? I mean, I don't have a foot fetish. I don't really care about feet in general. I just want to know. <laughs> what do your feet smell like? Someone needs to come get their grandma before I swipe right and become your new grandpa. What? Kathy, age 68, bisexual. I enjoy reading the Bible. Do <laughs> Domination is my expertise. Schnookums the cat. Taking shots with the girls. Puck bunny. Smoking to get over my husband's death. Who wants to smoke a blunt? This is also an account for schnookum, so swipe if you have a male cat. Bellas, she's only one year away from 69. I like how she's a, she's a dom grandma, so she'll tie you up and feed you freshly baked cookies. She'll crack the whip and make you eat butterscotch candies off the ground. All right, so that was r slash Tinder. If you like this content, subscribe and see ya.